everyone, and welcome to This Week in Hearthstone, week number 19, the, our weekly news show where we take a look at all the world events, news, everything going on in Hearthstone over the past week, and I have got a lot to get off my chest yet again, as Blizzard has done some just ugh, things that just get to me yet again. It, it, it's a common trend, but you know... Whatever. Anyways, um, our top story will be about this Taiwan All-Star Invitational Tournament. If you didn't hear about it, there's a reason for it. We'll get into that. Our second story is going to go over the Zeddy's My Year End Award Show. It should be a lot of fun, but it'll talk about how you can get involved in picking some winners. And I think that should be a lot of fun, so make sure to stay tuned for that. I'll have the meta update in Standard and Wild, what decks are working, what aren't, and then the mailbag segment where I answer your questions uh, in the that you guys leave in the comments below. And again, I just want to thank everybody for your continued support. We are closing in on 18,000 subs. If we can hit that by the end of the year, by the award show on New Year's Eve, that would be, it would mean the absolute world to me. So if you feel I have earned your subscription, I would really appreciate it if you hit that button. It helps the channel out a lot uh, with everything going on. We were able to buy a brand new mic. I don't have the, the mixer set up yet, but we're going to have some good audio quality coming up soon. No more freezer in the background noise. I can't wait. Anyways, let's get right into the top story. Um, the Taiwan All-Star Invitational. Yes, there was a tournament this weekend. It was hosted on Play Hearthstone on Twitch and YouTube. It involved huge names like Silver Name, RDU, Kriparian. It had the prior world champion of Lion. Uh, Bloody Face was there. Uh, Tice was there. Huge names. They even had drops. If you watch the tournament, you could earn a free pack. Did you know about this tournament? Probably not. Let's let's scroll through right now. Let's scroll through. Play Hearthstone Twitter. Let's take a look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Not a single mention. Not literally nothing. Their last tweet was from before Christmas. Let's take a look at HSC Sports. Oh, they retweeted Frodan. And they retweeted, I believe, one of the competitors who has a total of 300 Twitter followers. Their total likes on these tweets were under 100 each. I get more than 100 on a lot of tweets, and I'm nobody. I have like 6,000 followers. And that's literally the promotion we got. We have this big event where we have Battlegrounds and a standard tournament. No promotion. Again, why not? Why not? What is their paranoia, their phobia of actually promoting their game? Are they afraid people are actually going to want to watch it? Like, it's mind-boggling. So, um, early on, it went live. I think it was, like, Saturday night. And I'm looking, and Crip had more viewers than Play Hearthstone until he went offline. And then Play Hearthstone, I think, peaked around, like, 20k. People started figuring out it's actually on. And on over on YouTube, I think it had, like, less than 1,000 viewers when I looked. I, I'll share a screenshot. It's, like, it's just... it's frustrating it's maddening we want this game to do well but they won't even promote the events that are used to promote the game like it just just why is this why are these I, I, anyways I, I keep repeating it but i just i have to rant about it because it just makes no sense you you're obviously attracting the big streamers they're probably you know giving them something a little behind the scenes to make sure they come make it worth their while why are they is this only to promote in taiwan is that the deal they don't feel like People in North America would get excited for this, even though it's in the middle of the night. It's on a weekend. People are up. People would watch. Like, it's it's just insane to me. I don't understand it. But anyways, I'm just going to keep bringing it up because you guys keep missing out on events because they don't mention it. So let me know in the comments below. Did you actually know this event was going on? Because I kind of doubt it. And the other part of the event was the moderation on the Twitch Play Hearthstone channel was atrocious. If you aren't aware, Luna, Bloody Face, was a part of this. Recently came out as transgender. And, uh, yeah, the comments were just vile, disgusting, and horrible. And there was barely any moderation. I was there chatting, uh, spam this tuna to support Luna, trying to cheer her on. But I just got bombarded by, like, all these transphobic comments and all this hateful shit. And I'm like, why is there no moderation there? So they're not promoting an event, nor do they have moderation. Uh, Jaya, who casted it, I'll show her tweet. She basically said, I don't know what's going on with the moderation. I guess they didn't have people there that sucked. Cora, she commented, like, this is why she's glad she couldn't watch it at the time it was on. Sunglitters had a tweet that blew up about it. I, I responded, and it just sucks that people are literally, like, harassing um, Luna over that. And also just another one of the competitors. I think her name was Joy. Something along those lines. Uh, another female competitor just for being a girl. That was literally it. They were harassing her, and there was no nothing done about it. So it's just like... 
not only are they not promoting the tournament, they're not even, like, having proper moderation, condoning, effectively condoning, like, hate and hate speech and just sucked in. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just... I don't know what's what the hell's going on with Play Hearthstone. Their their community management is beyond reproach. It's just awful, and something needs to change there. Uh, I like the card design team. I like those guys, but the people behind managing this community are absolute garbage right now. It's so frustrating. But let's transition to something a little bit more upbeat, a little bit more positive. Let's take a look at the Zeddy Awards. So you guys know I did my year end review. There's a bunch of videos. And if you look here, I'll just show you, there's a Google Doc. You can check out the Google Doc in the description below, and you can vote. You can vote for a few of the awards. Like, I basically put up category votes for the video, the, the categories I made videos for. So you can vote for Best Standard Deck, Best Wild Deck, Best Card, Worst Card, Best Hearthstone YouTuber of the Year. You can vote there, and I will announce my winners, and then there'll be the Viewer Choice Award winners. So there'll be other categories as well, like Best Artwork, Best Flavor, but I couldn't think of, like, just trying to categorize that in the survey. So we'll leave it to that. So if you guys want to enter there, do that. And it'll be a lot of fun. You guys get to put your voice out, what you think the best of the best was. And it should be a lot of fun. And a reminder that the best Hearthstone YouTuber of the year award, I have picked it already. And that person will be there to accept their award. There will be a live video. Well, not live, but you know, it's recorded. It'll be a video out there. So check it out. Should be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, this will be going live on New Year's Eve. That's when the uh, the video should go live for the awards. Next, we have the Standard and Wild meta update. Again, not a whole lot of movement. Standard is a lot of Evolved Shaman, a lot of Rogue, and a couple of other decks. You have like Warrior Priest in there, but it's a lot. A lot of Rogue, a lot of Shaman. Uh, one deck I wanted to highlight, I don't even know if this is good. D-Money's always playing garbage, but he does well because he's good. Is Highlander Paladin. This deck looks pretty fun. He got to top 20 Legend with it, so if you want to... Play some Highlander Paladin, play something totally different out there, give it a go, and in Wild, it's all, you know, Secret Mage, Reno Priest, Secret Mage, Reno Priest, Secret Mage, and like a little bit of Big Priest, and you know, that's not a ton of fun, but I did see one Hunter list that got top 50, but be warned, Soda, like, came into Legend with this, so probably had the 11-star bonus, but... It's Secret Hunter. It's got two Yogs in it. It looks pretty cool. You can give it a try. It's probably bad, but I just wanted to highlight a fun list that maybe you wanted to give a go. And lastly, we have the mailbag segment where I answer your questions and let's take a look at what you guys suggested. And again, you can always leave a question in the comments below. I'll try and answer it and it's always a lot of fun to get your guys' feedback. First mailbag question comes from Daddy Disappointment. Mailbag question, what's your favorite cereal? Um, I'm a big mini wheats guy, like with the ones with like the white sugar. I like a little bit of sweet, but I like some wheat, some fiber. I like mini wheats. Um, I give like honorable mention of like corn pops or like corn flakes or Cheerios. I like my like plainish kind of cereal. I don't like the super sugary ones for the most part. Drew Duanas asks, do a biography about your life to connect with your viewers. Okay. Uh, Paul S. asks, and this wasn't even labeled mailbag, but I thought this one was important to go over because I get it all the time. Why are all your videos so negative? And I, I find this one to be an interesting one, that people correlate criticism with negativity. I don't believe, for the most part, our, our videos are negative. And that, that's like one of the things I always heard from like the Blizzard rep I talked about is, oh, you're, you're being negative. And caring and being constructive and critical is not being negative. It's communicating how you feel things could be improved, how things could become better. Because if you don't think from a critical standpoint, nothing ever really changes. So we're very discussion-based. We're very critical around here. But negative? I wouldn't even say that. Like, I know my titles can be labeled a little bit negative, but the YouTube algorithm really likes that, unfortunately. So we, we try and, you know, have to label things certain ways. But if you actually watch the content, listen to the dialogue in our channel... It's not particularly negative. Even my rant earlier about the Taiwan All-Star Invitational, it's criticism towards Blizzard about improving their advertising, their communication, their moderation to improve the game to make it better. That's being critical. That's not being negative. I'm not saying, you know, screw them, they're all stupid, quit the game, this is dumb, this is garbage. We're not doing any of that. And I read this all the time. It always frustrates me because I don't believe I'm being negative with our stuff. On my stream, I can be very negative, but on our videos, I think we keep it really constructive, very critical, and to the point. And I really don't think, for the most part, our videos are very critical or negative. They're just very critical or 
for the most part. And lastly, what is your favorite game of all time? This is asked by the FF Sage. I'm assuming Final Fantasy because I see Titus in the screenshot. And this is not pandering to FF Sage, but if you've watched my stream, my alerts, all that stuff, my favorite game by far, bar none, is Final Fantasy VI, also known as Final Fantasy III on the Super Nintendo. Um, I love JRPGs. Final Fantasy VI was the one I grew up on. I feel that game is the best soundtrack of all time. One of the best stories. One of the best, like, there's the Esper system, the combat system. I just get so enthralled in the world. So just invested every time I play that game. I genuinely love it. I just, I love the game so much. It means everything to me. I grew up playing this with my best friend who's no longer with us. And every time I pop in that game, I listen to that soundtrack, I'm taken back to a little bit of a better time where I got to play my favorite game of all time with one of my best friends of all time. And I'm never going to be able to do that again. But that game will always have that part in my heart that can let me, you know, hang out with him, even if he's not around anymore. So, got to go with Final Fantasy VI. Honorable mentions will be like Chrono Trigger, um, also like Metal Gear Solid 3. Stuff like Witcher 3. There's some really cool games. Celeste. Uh, a lot of really cool games, but I'll go with Final Fantasy 6. Anyways, that's this week in Hearthstone. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day. And stay salty, my friends.